Hey, what's up, YouTube? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build the elevator tutorial in the Safe Place. This is actually a really, really simple, really, really quick tutorial. Really easy. But it doesn't even include the Safe Place. Well, it does. It does at one point. But you're going to build it outside the map. You want to build four of these. Okay. You want to build four of these, and this is how you're going to build them. Okay. You're going to place a two by three block of thick andesite. Okay. Oh, these are the blocks, sorry, you're going to need polished andesite, brown mushroom block, brown terracotta, lodestone, brown concrete, sea lantern, blackstone, command block, and a polished blackstone button. If you want to do the additional redstone stuff, you're also going to need no block, redstone, and a redstone repeater, okay? To get a command block, all you have to do is just go into your um, command bar, just go to slash, give, and you want to do at p, and you just want to type in command underscore block, and you want to make sure you the normal one, you can change it later, but you just want to make sure you grab the command block. And that will give you this. Okay, what you want to do to build it? You want to build that, and you want to place two or a, a one brown terracotta coming out of each corner. And you want to place a brown concrete on this side, a lodestone on this side, and then two brown mushroom blocks on top of both of these. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to use your brown terracotta, and you're going to extend backwards now by five. That's one, two, three, four, five on both sides. You then want to connect it across the back like this. You want to place a mushroom block across the back like that, and then on the side as well, brown mushroom block. block. You can then place brown concrete on the back like this, and then on top of the brown mushroom blocks, place brown concrete. And on top of the brown concrete, place brown mushroom block. Okay, and that's going to give you your elevator. The flooring, you're going to rip up and you're going to replace it with your blackstone, okay? This is normal blackstone. No polished blackstone or anything. This is just normal blackstone. You can do it. You can use whatever block you want if you want to use coal, if you want to use wool, use whatever block you want. I just think this one looks like the best because of the texture. You just want to fill this up like that. And then the ceiling is going to be brown concrete. Just going to put in the ceiling is going to be brown concrete. And you're going to place two sea lanterns right in the center of it, just like that. Okay. That is elevator, that is how simple the elevator is to build. You want to build four of them, okay? When you go inside, it'll look quite nice, and you'll see why we're actually building these a little bit later. And it'll, it comes out very, very well. good. But all you want to do is press button on the lodestone block like that. That is going to be what sends you up and down. You're going to put the brown concrete there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place your block here. So this is where if you want to do the additional redstone, what you're going to do is you'll place a block here. Gonna grab out your note block, redstone, and a redstone repeater, okay? And what you want to do is you want to place redstone on top of this block, and then you want to go down by one, place one, two, three, four repeaters, turn them all on, like this. You can then place two blocks of red two bits of normal redstone and a command block on the end, okay? You can then place one bit of redstone coming out there and place two of these and a note block okay you want to set them all onto four ticks by the way so all of your redstone repeaters to four ticks and then you want to turn the note block onto quite a high sound i put it on the sound like this and then when you press the button it will so when you press the button you get a bit of a day and then you'll get that and then it'll send you and then it'll teleport you after that okay so what you can then do is it, this will be te elevator number one if you wish i've used this in a lot of tutorials now but if you wish you can just go here or not here, slash, go slash, give, at p, structure, block, like this, and then you just want to grab out your structure block, then you want to put it into the corner, wherever, wherever your structure is facing, it's facing in this direction, see, you just want to take it like this, and you can see it on here then, as you can see, see that it looks quite good, and then all you're going to, all you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to do your Y offset even minus one so that you get the black stone in there and it looks like it's got weird. So make sure you keep the black stone in there so you want to go minus one. Y, you want to go same, so Y is already done, so you want to keep that on five. Z, you want to go ten, I don't know what way that is, ten. That is going that way, so we don't want it to go with Z, Z can stay five. Not five, six. There you go. And then x is x that way 10 x is that way so x you want to go by about 14 what's about 64 14 15 
16. That's going to get you thinking, okay? So you want to take all that structure and you want to save it as whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call mine elevator. I spelled that wrong, haven't I? Elevator. There you go. So you're going to save it as elevator. And you can save it like that. And then you're just going to come here and then you're going to place the structure block here. Click in it and then just put go to load. Put in the name elevator like that and then it'll load it up, load it. And you go to your next elevator. You go into another one, you can just go here, go here, go to load, ele, ele, elevator, load it up, and there you go. The next one, you can go along again, do this, go here, go into load, click here, elevator, do that, and load it up. And that's all four of your elevators done, just like that. Is that simple? And all you've got to do now is just destroy the structure blocks. That's if you're doing a structure block. If you aren't, then good luck putting them. Then you should, should see you've got all four of your elevators here, okay? What you want to do is, on this very first one, this one is going to control bottom floor to second floor, okay? I want to control bottom floor to second floor. The second one's going to control second floor to that floor. This third one's going to control third floor to fourth floor. And this last one's going to control fourth floor to third floor, okay? That information. What you're going to do now is you're going to write this down, okay? It won't be the same on yours. What you want to do is you want to take the elevator, okay? Well, you don't want to take the elevator literally. You want to break a hole in each, the top of each elevator, just so you can do this. Break a hole in each the top of each elevator, and this one go from to the second floor. So, if you step on to the first floor, you're going to teleport to the first elevator, okay? So, what you want to do is you want to come in behind the elevator now. I'll probably put the worst position to go into. No, I haven't. Okay. You want to get behind the elevator now and you want to just place a command block here. See the backstone button we placed earlier is here now. You then want to just place a command block here. And this one you want to make sure it's going to teleport you in the first elevator. So you want to go inside this first elevator and you're going to make it to teleport you to minus 45, 4, minus 65. Okay. I want to remember that. Yours will be different. You want to make sure you turn on coordinates as well. If not, go into a map and then have a look at your coordinates. It's just here in the top corner. You want to be minus 45, 4, minus 65. Okay, that's mine. So you're going to go into here now and go TP at P minus 45, 4, minus 65. Do not forget, this is not yours. This is not your command you want to put in. You want to put TP at P and then your coordinates of your elevator. Not mine. That is my coordinates. That's what's going to make help mine work. So that is that one. Then you want the next one. So then you want in, this one in the command block to teleport you to the second floor. So if I can get in the second floor through here again. Yeah, here's, here's a little bit sharp. There's no going to get in yet. This second floor, we're going to now break our way in. We're going to make it teleport us to here, okay? So I'm going to be 20, 14, minus 22. So 20, 14, minus 22. So we're going to go into here. This is going to be P at P minus, I can't remember it now, what was it? Minus, minus 20, 14, 22. Minus 20, 14, 22. And you want to put that into this command that elevator okay so you want to go minus 20 14 minus 22 this is not your um command do not put that one in that will now power that elevator so now if you go into this bottom if you were to then go click you into this elevator now you can see you can teleport you to this floor here, you see now what what if you have to do this one that's where we're going to put another command block in now, and this one's going to teleport you to the second elevator. So you pretty much want to do that for the same thing for every elevator. I'm going to quickly show you guys how to do it because it's not too long of a tutorial then. But you just want to go from about here. Minus 45, 4, minus 77. Minus 45, 4, minus 77. And you want to put this in the second command block, so it's going to be... TP at P, minus... 45, 4, minus 77. So that's going to go like that. And then what you want to do is you want to put in the other one to teleport you to here. 
which is going to be minus 20, 9, minus 22. So we're going to be minus 20, so you're going to go TP at P, minus 20, 9, minus 22. That is going to be your second event completed. Now if you go to the second floor, and the second floor, click that one, select the elevator, click the button again, it's this bottom floor here. Now do you want to work it and you want to do the same thing here for every other elevator now. So you want to go up to the top of this floor up here, the exact same thing. So you want this third elevator and it's going to power to the floor, okay? And then you want to go here and you want to stand in the same place, minus 45, 4, minus 86, okay? So you're going to go which is going to be through here. It's going to be minus 45 to go here. TP at P minus 45 or minus 86. If you can't remember, don't worry, just write it down. It'll be a lot easier. And then you want this here. Go your way in and then just put the code in here, which is going to be minus 20, 24, minus 22. Okay? Minus 20, 24, minus 22. It's going to be. Minus 20, what, TP, TP, P, minus 20 something, and minus 22, I can't remember the middle numbers again, I think it's 9, was it 9? It's always 9, isn't it? And that always changes it. Minus 20, 24, 20, minus 22. So it's going to be minus 20, 24, minus 22, 24, minus 22. That is your next elevator done. And in this, now what we're going to do is go into this elevator, stand on the same block, minus 45, 4, minus 96, minus 45, 4, minus 96. We're going to go up to the very top, minus 45, no, TP, at the minus 45, 4, Minus 96. Okay, that's going to tell you what's there. And you also want to grab the core positions one here, which is going to be minus 45, no, minus 20, 19, minus 22. Minus 20, 19, minus 22. So I'll go into this one here. TP at P minus 20, nine, uh, yeah, 19, minus 22. Okay. And that is all of your elevators completed and now if you actually go into now we're going to work through them okay so now if you go into the top um, bottom floor one uh, we're going to fix up all the elevators first fix up that one there fix up that one and then fix up that one and then as you'll see we'll go into the bottom of the building and i believe it will then be done actually with this elevator, and all we've got to do then is the outside in the next part. That bit's going to be a little bit longer than this one. So we'll come through to the bottom floor here, come around here to the elevator, click on the button, push the elevator like this, then click it again, a little bit of delay, we'll teleport us to the cafeteria like this. And if we click on the cafeteria's one, teleport us to here, if we click on it again, click the sound, then we'll teleport to the floor here, see? We'll just quickly do that, and we're going to bug off again. We go back in the cafeteria and go up to the green floor. I've got so much stuff on the side of my screen right now. Then we're going to go up to the green floor. We're going to click on the button. The green floor is really, really dark in here. We click on the button. Go across to here. Then we click on it again. Sound. It's up on the top floor. You can see it per works perfectly fine. We also want to place a load stone here, by the way. Well, in a real tutorial, just place a load stone there, and then you can actually again click the button, put the sound, and it'll change the floor again. as you can see, it works absolutely perfectly. If you've got command blocks, it work, it, you'll be able to use it. If you haven't, though, sadly, I will try and look for a solution to it, but um, I can the, the only way I can think of doing it is the command blocks at the moment. 
Um, the key one where you open up the piston doors and then you go in, and then, it, you know, um, and then you can use like the piston elevator, but it does um the really to make it so. I think the command block is the only way to go. But anyway, guys, you've now done the set, um, first extra of the second place to enjoy. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.